Hey guys, it's Shalisi coming at you with a must-have Mondays. I haven't filmed one of these in ages. I keep meaning to, but then it's like gloomy weather or whatnot or I'm tired. But I thought I would. Look at my little buns, y'all. Look, I love them, love them. I just got back from getting Slurpees with the princess. So I'm energized and ready for this video. This is just going to be a simple quick one featuring almost everything drugstore. Minus one, two things. So the first thing honorable mention are my Ray-Bans. These are the Ray-Ban Air cause in the tortoise frame with the brown gradient lens. Love these bad boys. These have been a lifesaver these last few weeks. It's been super sunny and everything. And honestly, I wear them all the time. They're my favorite. They're super cute. You can dress them up, dress them down. They're fabulous. Honestly, love them. I will link them down below. So you can get them from Sunglass Hut, or you can get them from the Ray-Ban set. But Sunglass Hut has a really nice warranty with the glasses, so y'all need to check that bad boy out. But these are the Ray-Ban Erica, super sleek and just fabulous. I just might keep these on for the rest of the video, but love these. If you have a pair of your favorite Ray-Bans, let me know what they are down below so I can check them out. Because right now I'm on this current Ray-Ban kick, and I need to get a few more. Like I have these ones in a classic Wayfair style. But I want to get a pair of customized uh, Club Masters. There's so much to get, but you'll see a haul with that coming up in the new year future. Fingers crossed for that. Going into like actual makeup and jazz, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Foundation Primer. This shit is the business. Like I said, Prior to this with the sunglasses, it has been super hot and sunny. And this, even though it doesn't claim to be mattifying, I just find that I use it in my T-zone and everything says sheen free, shine free for longer throughout the day. I don't really have big pores that I notice or anything. I don't think I do anyways. That stuff doesn't bug me, but it does let your foundation apply so much more smoothly on your face. It just gives you this like great canvas to work with so I've been loving this and this is super cheap like I picked mine up from shoppers when it was on sale for like five dollars or something but it doesn't range more than in Canada eleven dollars depends on where you go like shoppers drug mart it's usually more expensive but they always have Maybelline stuff on sales or 20 times of points which is amazing but I think at like Walmart it's like seven dollars eight dollars I don't know I would definitely repurchase this in the future after I finish all the other foundation primers I have in my collection but you know how it is sometimes but I've been loving this for foundation this has been hands down my favorite thing since I started wearing it like nothing compares to this I have a vlog coming up which I am actually gonna edit it so girl this is to Sam I know you keep complaining I haven't done it yet but I went out to my friends Tiffany's bachelorette party she got married this past weekend in Bath it was beautiful I didn't get to go but she looks stunning so hey girl and we had our bachelorette party and I had to go from work to it so I had my foundation on from like 8 a.m. till 3 5 in the next morning and I still look flawless when I got home the next day and everything so I will have that vlog up very shortly I will link it down below once it comes up and then you guys can see it and see my antics and all the stuff I do out on this dinner and all that jazz. It was a quick small one, nothing too crazy, but I thought I'd share you share with you my night. Loved it. But the foundation I'm talking about is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless for normal to oily skin. The color I've been using is the 355 Coconut. I do have the one that's lighter, but because I slightly got tanned, it's not working for me. I tried I've used it as an under eye like concealer highlighting like the highlight the points of my face the high points of my face you know and jazz and it works really well for that but that's just a lot of effort in my opinion I don't know I've been lazy with that but I've been loving this foundation I am wearing it today with like a lighter finish to it and even though it's like a matte it's not like a very flat finish like I still get like a nice glow I did not highlight or anything today no I didn't I just threw some foundation on and a little bit of bronzer 
and that's it and i was outside so i'm glowy a little bit from all that heat and jazz so yeah i've been loving this foundation i do have a tutorial coming up on how i use this so stay tuned for that i just have to edit that bad boy and get it up for y'all because i've been slacking lately for concealer i've been in love again with my revlon fold ready concealer i have it in deep it's this bad boy right here it's a twist up it's really nice i used it under my eyes and like the highlight of it today it's really nice and creamy it's a nice medium to full coverage i don't find that it creases under my eyes i honestly only have like one tight fine line under there but ain't nobody worried about that or anything but i've been loving this it's great it blends out nice and evenly doesn't move your foundation and when you put stuff on top of it, it doesn't like skip or anything so i've been loving this concealer i still believe you can find it in drugstores yes you can i feel like everyone keeps adding to their collection and starting to go away but i have that for a minute then for powder i've been also loving the maybelline fit me poreless powder and this is number 330 toffee right here they do not have a darker shade than this but I find I can use it all over my face even though I'm using the darker foundation. I just go in with a dual fiber powder brush. It's really nice, finely milled. Ooh, right there. It blends like a dream, like, like nothing, like nothing. And I find I've used it for touch-ups, even though you know I hate touching up, but I use it for touch-ups. And it doesn't let your face get cakey looking. It just, it just blends with everything. It just makes everything look flawless and smooth. Love it. Hands down, a great drugstore powder. I think this has to be my favorite drugstore powder ever. Now, if you have a favorite drugstore powder that you love, mention it down below so I can give it a try because I don't want to be biased saying this is the only one I've ever tried. And another Maybelline one back in the day. But that's it. And then going into brows, I'm all about my dip brow from Anastasia. 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 Have you like to say, it depends on who says it, you know, somebody says it different. But I re-found this, like, if you knew the hot mess my collection is, everything goes missing. And then when I look for one item, I find another item, like, okay, I'll use this instead. But I rediscovered my Anastasia Brow Duo in Medium Brown. I think this got a name change. I'm not 100% sure, but it's this one. I've been loving it, like... You can see it's getting a slight dent in it because I actually use it. And that's what I used in my brows today alone. Nothing too extreme. It gives a nice, soft, defined brow for those lazy days where you're not wearing a lot of makeup like this, like today. So I've been loving this bad boy. Love that it comes with a mirror. Hey. Right? I can see everything. It's nice, a nice size mirror for your brow. Love that. Beautiful. Then... I've been on a lilac kick lately, maybe like the last three weeks. And the ones I've been loving most recently are these from Quo. Hold on. These bad boys right here. They are called the Glamour Lashes. They're the 809s. And I had them on in my last few pictures on Instagram. So check that out. They're super nice and natural. They're not like as dramatic as I'd love, but they're great for like an everyday lash. Because I've been wearing lashes almost every day to work. I've been loving it. Super just opens up the eyes. Just adds a little bit of something something when you're really not doing much. And then the last thing I want to mention. Can you pass me my lip gloss back? Is this L'Oreal Lip Stain in Infinite Fuchsia. Number 187. I honestly don't think they make this anymore. But I was diving into my collection. And I brought this bad boy out because I haven't worn it before. And I'm wearing it right now. I just have like a nice light layer to it because I didn't want to be all bold and extreme with it. But it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's a nice stained gloss like the YSL ones. And it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll show you the full intensity of it real quick. Like you can build this bad boy up. And get an extremely glossy, pigmented, opaque look with it. Just like that. And I can still build it up more once it dries. 
to get a deeper, brighter effect. But this bad boy is amazing. I can wear it all day at work and touch up maybe once after I eat a poutine or some jazz and all that gravy. But yeah, this is my must-have Mondays for this week. Let me know down below in a comment what you've been loving this past couple weeks. It doesn't have to be drugstore like this edition was all drugstore for the most part. Mine's that one Anastasia item. But leave it down below in a comment. Thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more. And I'll get back into doing that for you. As well, I do have a few tutorials and get ready, get ready with me coming up. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in another video real soon. Bye, y'all.